My name is Ronald Davis. I've been on the street for about a year and a half now. Well, I come from the suburbs. Life, you know, which is 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 is, is rough. And uh, I mean, I didn't slept in Lower Wacker. I didn't slept on the bridges. I didn't slept in the in little cardboard boxes and stuff. You know, just surviving, especially in the winter time, is the hardest time. And like. Uh, I go to a few lot of applications for a job and stuff. They look at me, you know, I'm not looking presentable. And then they, well, we'll call you, leave a number. But how can I leave a number when I don't have a phone? So I, it's just a struggle out here. You know, I just, you know, from day to day, people, uh, I come out here and panhandle with my cup right here at the Metro train station. People come off bringing me sandwiches and stuff like this here. And uh, I start out in my morning about 6 o'clock. You know, sometimes I don't even have enough to go to the flop house, you know, sometimes the flop house is a cheap place and they number 16 bucks for 24 hours right over there on Clark and Van Buren. And uh, a lot of times I don't have enough money for that, so I had to end up sleeping in the park or on one of these benches downtown or something like this, and then the security guards come and run you off about five or six in the morning. So by six o'clock I started panhandling and trying to survive. And uh, like I said before, some days I don't even have enough to get it wrong, so I just sleep on the sleep street. But I depend on the people that's coming off the train because most of them I give them respect. You know, most of them like me. They come out and give me clothes and food and stuff like this here so I can survive. Give me a few bucks and everything, and I add it up at the end of the day and get me a little room for the night. And whenever I'm not fortunate enough to get the room, I just sleep in the street wherever I can. It's really humiliating to be shaking a cup. 24 hours a day and people just look at you like you some kind of little bum, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have had people to walk past me and say, get a job, bum. And I said, wait a minute, I'm not a bum, I'm a human being. And I think it's, and it's hard. But uh, after the end of the day, when, when people go home and everybody get on the message train, and then my, and then I just feel so bad that I can't be going home, you know? I mean, I'm sorry. But uh, it's really emotional because I'm really trying to get myself together and get off this tree, you know? And I don't care what it's doing. If I can get a job and through this humidity, you know, I mean, you just lose all your humility when you're shaking a cook begging. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, you know, I mean, you know, you can look at a person and tell if they gain your respect or not. You know what I mean? A lot of people look at you like you're just a, a piece of crumb. You know, I had one guy walk past me and talk about me so bad, and then I just looked at him. I said, "God bless you, sir." He walked past and went went down the street, come right back. He said, you know what, man, I had a bad day. He said, I'm sorry for even calling you that. He said, because I know you're a human being. He said, would you accept my apologies? I said, apologies accepted. He went in his pocket and gave me 30 bucks and said, go get you a room and get you something to eat. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, no matter what people think about me, I know I'm a human first. And just cause I'm down on my luck, don't give nobody no excuse to call me no bomb because I'm not.